Okay, good morning, Thursday 21st of June. I've had a good night camping here, this is a kind of building site camping, so they're doing some building work. The back of the restaurant here where we did last night. Uh, so that's it, Up nice and early, we'll get uh, packed away now. And uh, back on the road, it should be a valley for the first part of the day. There's a nice uh, river, just behind the tent here. We'll get this packed away quickly and then uh, have some breakfast and then get back on the road. Okay, now well, we're just leaving the restaurant here. That's what we had dinner last night. And, uh, small yeah, table thing there, <laughs> sitting out over the water. It's a different style of restaurant than what we used to in, uh, in Denmark and England. You get your own small room here and each family has their own space. You don't really know how many guests are here. They're all hidden away and there's another room there. A little bit of what we saw in Turkey. Same kind of thing really. Yesterday they were playing uh, jazz music. Here. Yeah. They're playing jazz music here, it's all quite late, so... Yeah, we've finished eating. Another party seemed to get going. It's an extremely nice place. A table there, you can sit. If they didn't have a nice piece of grass like this, we could put the tent up on. So we were camping on top of cement. That's it. Nice place. Let's get back on the road and see a little bit more of Hamini. Okay. 256 to Migri. That's another hot day. Yeah, the first 30 kilometers today should be fairly flat. We're just following a, a valley here with the river, following it upstream, so it's slightly uphill, but nothing too serious for the 30, first 30. <laughs> should start climbing later this afternoon. So. Let's uh, see what it looks like here. See what the fuel prices are here. That's on the leaded 95. Let's see what that costs in Armenian. It's a 6.4 Danish krona or 75 pence a litre. I think how many modern restaurants we've just come by this morning. nice looking places look very new as well. I would have believed that after the day we had in Georgia. I thought we was in for a whole country with no restaurants or anything. Still don't see any cafes though with men sitting drinking tea or coffee. That doesn't exist here. Some of the towns will be passing through. Bike, bike. Should be in a few minutes for lunch and then Goris and Kapan should be going through. Amazing mountains really. Fascinating to look at. <laughs> okay, we just spotted the sign, the ancient Silk Road. It's one of them here. It's not one road, of course, there's many silk roads, but there's one of the tracks there. And we're on the modern silk road here. Here to get some food from the shop here. Some fuel there for the cooking. 
Time to get rolling. Restaurants here along the valley. That should be a good fine places like this every evening to stop and eat dinner. <laughs> it's probably not going to be possible where we're camping maybe. Okay, this is soon the start of the second climb. Uh, second climb of to a summit of 2,000 meters. So not sure whether we will get to the top today or maybe tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I'll get as far as we can today before we have to stop later this afternoon and we just enjoy the blue sky and the scenery. I planned to cycle through Armenia. I'm really pleased it worked out this way because maybe quite hilly and a lot of mountains to climb, but uh, it's really worth it. The effort you put in with the reward you get with the, the views here. Oh, that's great having a lie down here. <laughs> Bit of an afternoon rest before we have to make our way up the mountain. We're at 1,500 meters, we have to go up to 2,200. So we're just getting a bit of a rest here, get some energy before we tackle the rest of the mountain. Okay, there's the mountain ahead. Oh, we have to climb now this afternoon. That was pretty steep climb we came up there, so we gained a lot of altitude in a short distance. Yeah. Good team I got with me yeah. here. They're yeah. really good climbers now. Yeah. And the thing is, when we were si when it's more steep, we get more higher up, but it's very hard. So maybe it's maybe 40 meters or so. It's very steep, and so after it begins to be slowly uphill. tired today after mounting yesterday and do the same thing all over again one day later. <laughs> So we just got some water here from this uh, quiet man who lives in there. Let us fill up with water. Not sure whether we'll find anything after here. So. Okay, I think we found the spot for today's camping. Yeah. Came out again. Nice flat piece of grass here. The road's just there, so that's too far from the road. Views pretty good again. That's the town there, we just filled up with water there, so pretty close to the town here. We're up at 1850 meters, so pretty good really. Now tomorrow we have to go up there, can for the end of the climb. That should be the second big climb done. Now we need a rest because now we're all a bit tired today. Yeah. <laughs> is it four or how many hills have we gone up? Four, I 
is the second one. So now we have to do the half thing, so that is good. So now we can be some little bit glad after the hill. Mm. I think it's been hard today. I've been a bit tired from, <coughs> from the start. But I never expected us to be able to come so high up today. So quite pleased with that if we only have or 350 meters left to go up tomorrow, so that's quite good. But Jemmy has been really impressed today, it's been really going well. Yeah. Really impressed. Yeah, yesterday I was more tired, but today I'm more fresh. Yeah, yeah good today, yeah. yeah. Very good climbing good today. Things. So, yeah, well, the tents have been enjoying a nice evening here. Let's put the tents up here on mountain top camping. It was already chopping. I did a little bit early today. It's a little bit windy, but it's not cold at all. Nice to have a bit of fresh air actually compared to yeah, what it's been the last few days. Yeah, the sheep are on the way. We were actually thinking of camping down there just by the road there. We thought that house there was closed down, but we're going to be invaded by sheep now. So that was the end of today. Our second day here in the mountains. We just made our second mountain here we're about 300 meters short of the summit so we decided to stop here so we don't end up camping on the top it's not really the best place to camp but here's a nice place a little bit windy but uh, never mind that it's, uh, it's usually okay but uh, yeah we stopped a little bit early today so I hope we can get a good night's rest and then uh, tomorrow morning set off do the last part of this mountain then it should be a fairly easier day tomorrow should be pretty flat but we'll be high up most of the day over 2,000 meters. Uh, that should be good. But, uh, now I'll just sit here and enjoy the sunset. This is a pretty good uh, wild camping spot we found today. Extremely good view so, over the mountains. So, not often we get a chance to camp in such good places. So I'll enjoy that now. So, I'll see you.